Hi everyone, The Simple Dad here. Are you tired of your Samsung looking like everyone else's? It's time to turn your Galaxy into a Galaxy of you. With Samsung's good luck, you can completely redefine your phone's look, feel and vibe, from wallpaper's depth to the keyboard styles. So in today's video, I'm showing you seven epic good luck customization features that'll make your Galaxy feel fresh, dynamic and totally personal. Before we jump in, don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you love Samsung customization content and drop a comment down below on which feature you're trying first. Your support really helps the channel grow. The more likes this video gets, the more YouTube shares them with other Galaxy fans just like you. So let's begin. So feature number one is where you can transform static wallpaper into dynamic wallpapers. So with good luck's Wonderland module, your wallpaper doesn't just have to stay still. You can add a subtle animation or movement that reacts when you swipe between screens. So this makes your phone background come alive. So here as an example, we have autumn right now. It's November and the leaves are falling. So I've got a autumn theme background. However, I want to go ahead and add some leaves falling on this background. So I want to go ahead and make this static wallpaper into a dynamic wallpaper. So let me show you how to do this. So here in gallery, I've downloaded so here in gallery, I've downloaded a leaf and I've also set a wallpaper. So this is my wallpaper and this is the leaf. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and add leaves falling down on this wallpaper. So to do this, we'll go ahead and first open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, go ahead and open up Wonderland. Here, we'll go ahead and create our own moving wallpaper. We'll tap on the plus sign. We'll tap on gallery and we'll go ahead and bring that wallpaper. Now next, we're gonna go ahead and tap on the plus sign here and we're gonna go ahead and add particle effect. We'll go ahead and choose a picture from our gallery. So this is the one I want. And here I wanna go ahead and add scattered raindrops. Here we wanna go ahead and choose if you wanna play auto play it or touch effect. If you go ahead and auto play this, so this will basically fall like this. You can go ahead and choose the animation to slow down. You can have few, or less, you can go and configure all these settings here. Now, once you're happy, tap preview, and this will show you a preview of your background. So now once you're happy, tap save here at the top right, and then tap on save. Now we'll go ahead and set this as a wallpaper for our home screen, and then go ahead and press home. Now as you can see, our home screen is dynamic. It's no more static. If I go ahead and delete this, and let's just say, for example, I'll go ahead and add another particle effect and we'll go ahead and add the same leaf again. But this time we'll go ahead and add the touch effect. So if you tap on this, so here we'll go ahead and touch wherever we touch, we have an effect on screen. So now if I go ahead and save this, so I'll write it, set it as our wallpaper. Now when I go ahead and touch anywhere, you'll see that the leaves are falling down wherever I touch on screen. So again, this basically makes your static wallpaper into a dynamic wallpaper. So this adds motion and personality to your home screen. It expresses your creativity with custom animations and it looks premium while keeping performance smooth. Feature number two is where you can apply the parallax effect on your wallpaper. So on your Samsung Galaxy device, you can give your wallpaper depth and motion with a parallax effect. So this basically shifts the background slightly as you tilt your phone. This creates a beautiful 3D illusion on your home screen. So let me show you how to do this. So here first, we need to go ahead and open the gallery and we need to go ahead and choose a picture. So I've recently downloaded this picture here of a Wolverine. So we'll go ahead and separate the Wolverine with the background. So to do this, we'll first go ahead and use Galaxy AI. We'll go ahead and select this figure here and we'll pass on delete then tap on generate. Now that's created as the background, so we'll tap on save background. Next, we'll go ahead and go back to the photo again. And this time we're just gonna go ahead and extract the Wolverine. So we will clip the Wolverine, tap on three dots, then tap on save as image. So this basically saves it as a PNG. So you've got this and you've got that. Now next, we'll go ahead and open up Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, open the Wonderland module tap on create your own moving wallpaper, then tap on the plus sign. And here we'll choose gallery and we'll go ahead and choose that picture which we just created, so the background first. Then we'll tap on image, so add an image. We'll go ahead and choose that PNG Wolverine. We'll go ahead and enlarge this. 
Now, once that's done, you wanna go ahead and apply motion. So first go ahead and select the background, tap on image settings. You wanna go ahead and enable motion effects and go ahead and play around with this figure. Next, we're gonna go ahead and choose the image. And again, image settings, and we're gonna go ahead and apply individual motion effect. Again, play around with the settings. Preview it. Now, when we go ahead and move our phone, you'll see that parallax effect as you move your phone. So now once you're happy with this, go ahead and tap on save here at the top right, and then save again. And then go ahead and set this as a wallpaper for a home screen or lock screen. Tap home. And now our home screen has a parallax effect for your wallpapers. So this adds realistic depth and visual movement. It makes your icon and widget look like they float. It's perfect for both static and dynamic wallpapers. Feature number three is you can change your icon style. So on your Samsung Galaxy device, you can go ahead and use the theme park module from your Good Lock app to redesign your icons. So you can basically change shapes, color, outlines, and more for a cohesive themed setup that matches your style. However, you can now also apply pre-built icon packs to your Samsung Galaxy device. So in this video, I'll show you how to apply those pre-built icon packs to your Samsung Galaxy device, just like the ones I have done right now. So for this, you'll need to go ahead and open up the Play Store. We'll go ahead and search for an app called Icon Pack Studio. So this is the app you need. Go ahead and install this app and then go ahead and open it. Now in the app itself, go ahead and register to it using your Gmail or your Hotmail account. Now here you wanna go ahead and browse through these icon packs. So you wanna avoid the ones that have a pro label on them as they're paid. However, the ones without them are free to use. So let's just say for example, you wanna go ahead and use the following icon pack, so this one here. We'll go ahead and tap on this, then tap on download. This will be now added to your library. Tap on that, tap on apply, then tap on okay and tap on OK again. And now you'll see a dialog appear right here at the top. Press OK. So your icon pack is ready to install. Tap on that. Tap on OK. This will now take you to your My Files app. Tap on that icon pack, which you just downloaded. Update it. Go ahead and install this. So install without scanning. Use your fingerprints. Now that's done. So you can press done, press home. Now next you wanna go ahead and open up the theme park module. So you need to go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, open theme park, and then go ahead and tap on icons, then tap on create new. Now tap on icon pack. Here you'll see this exported icon pack, tap on that. This will now load the one that you downloaded. Now next you wanna go ahead and press Save, give it a name, go ahead and apply this. Now press home, and now your icon packs has been changed. So for those of you who like my icon pack, which I use, which is this here, I'll show you the name, which you can maybe find on that app. So the name of that icon pack is called icon pack 60111. So this is what I have installed on my Samsung Galaxy device. So this gives you complete visual overhaul without third-party apps. It matches your icons to your wallpaper and widgets. It keeps your interface clean, modern, and consistent. Feature number four is where you can apply the animated notification screen. So you can turn an ordinary notification into a light show. So with Edge Lighting Plus module and the Lockstar, you can add glow effects, waves, and custom lighting styles when messages or alerts arrive. So let me show you how you can apply this effect on your Samsung Galaxy device. So for this, you need to go ahead and first open up the Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, you want to go ahead and scroll down and find Edge Lighting Plus. Now go ahead and turn this feature on and then tap on Set Custom Style. And now here you can go ahead and set any shapes or any photos as your notification animation for your screen. So here you can go and choose stars, daisies, flowers. You can go ahead and choose your own shapes as well or you can go and choose something from your gallery. So now once that's done, go ahead and choose your color. You can change the color around as well. If you like blue leaves, if you don't like it, just leave it as it is, tap on advance. Now you can go ahead and choose your effects. 
So currently it's a snowflake effect. You can go ahead and choose raindrops, clouds, stars, bubbles, hearts from the, from the bottom. You can choose popcorn. You can choose a zoom in effect. I really like the snowflake effect. So I'll tap on that. Next, you can go ahead and choose your size. You can change this as well. You can choose your period. You can choose your amount and you can choose your rotation. So now once that's done, press done. And then now you want to go ahead and test it out. So here I'll go ahead and send messages to myself. And there we have it. So you instantly notice new alerts with flare. You can choose your animation color, speed, and pattern. You can add a futuristic premium feel to your notifications. Feature number five is where you can personalize your clock face on your lock screen. So the clock face module lets you design your own lock screen clock. You can pick fonts, colors, layouts, and also choose from dozen of stylish presets. So let me show you how to do this. So here in One UI 8, you have a choice of different clock faces like this here, style. So you have this, this, and this, and this. However, now with the clock face module from Good Lock app, you can go ahead and add more clock faces. So something similar to this, this, or this. If you don't like any of these presets, you can go ahead and create your very own. So let me show you how to do this. So for this, you need to go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, you want to go ahead and scroll down and find clock face. So this is the module which you need to install. Tap on this. And now this will take you into all the clock faces which are available. So these are all the different styles you can apply. So let's just say, for example, I don't like any of these styles here and I want to go ahead and create my very own clock face. So I can go ahead and tap on the plus sign and here I can go ahead and start creating my clock face. So I can go ahead and choose the fonts. I can go ahead and scroll down and choose the time format, choose the type, choose my color, minutes, now, once that's done, I can go ahead and tap on the plus sign. Here, I can go ahead and add an analog clock, a digital clock, a text clock, a date as well. So if I would like to present the date, I can go ahead and choose that. I can choose all my different fonts for my date. Next, I can go ahead and choose a text. So if I want some motivational quotes, I can go ahead and add this. If I want an image, so for example, a picture of your loved ones or maybe hearts, I can go ahead and add that as well. I can go ahead and add a GIF and also I can add weather as well. So now once that's done, I can go ahead and tap on save here at the top right. And now that clock face has been saved. To apply this, I can go ahead and tap on this and then go ahead and apply it. So now as you can see, this is the clock face which I've just created, tap done. And now that clock face has been applied to my lock screen. So you can express your personality with your custom clock. You can match your lock screen to your wallpaper and theme, and you can customize both lock screen and the always on display clock on your Samsung Galaxy device. Feature number six is your fingerprint animation. So you can make unlocking your phone visually satisfying with your custom fingerprint animation. So you can add glowing rings, light ripples, and even energy waves every time you touch the sensor. So let me show you how you can get this animation effect on your Samsung Galaxy device. So for this, you need to go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, you wanna go ahead and make sure you have installed the Lockstar module. So once that's installed, tap on this. This will take you to your lock screen customization. Now to edit your lock screen, now to edit your fingerprint animation, you wanna go ahead and tap on your fingerprint just here. Tap on this. And now this will show you all the different animations which are available. So this is like a light ripple, some ghost appearing, glowing ring, some fireworks, and another ring there. So you can go ahead and choose anything you like. I'll go ahead and choose the ghost 10 stars and I'll tap on done. Now that has been applied, so I'll tap home, test it out. So each time I unlock my phone, you'll see that animation. So this adds a high end futuristic effect. So this gives instant feedback when unlocking a device and this complements your theme and your animation setup. And lastly, feature number seven is your keyboard customization. So with Keys Cafe, your keyboard becomes a canvas. So you can change the keys, color, the theme, shapes, effects, and even typing sound for a totally unique experience. So here I have a theme set and I'll go ahead and just show you when I go ahead and tap on any of these keys, there are some animations in the background. If I have my sound on, I can go ahead and set sound as well. So let me show you how to do this. So first go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. Now next, go ahead and scroll down and find Keys Cafe. 
Now in the Keys Cafe, tap on keyboard, and here you can go ahead and choose from all these available themes. Go ahead and browse through these. If you don't like what you see, tap on the plus sign, and here you can go ahead and create your very own. Again, I've just created from my recommended ones. Let's just say I like this one here. Now next, you can go ahead and choose background, so you can have different backgrounds. I'll just have the red one. Now next, you wanna go ahead and choose effects. And here you can go ahead and choose all these different effects. So there are some plane splatters. You can go ahead and choose these, all these different effects, which basically makes your keyboard alive. You can go ahead and choose a keys color as well. So when you tap on the keys, you have different colors. You can choose the colors. Next, you have your key motion. So you can have some animation on your keyboard. Now next, you can go ahead and choose sound. So you can have retro sounds. So now once that's done, you wanna go ahead and press save, give it a name. And now that key one has been applied to your Samsung Galaxy device. So now when you go ahead and open up your keyboard, this is your keyboard. And this is how your style is. So this is making, so this makes typing fun, comfortable and personalized. You adjust the key size and the layout for better usability and you can sync your keyboard's color with your overall theme as well. And that's it, seven good lock features that'll turn your Samsung Galaxy into something that feels truly yours. So whether it's moving wallpapers, glowing fingerprints or a personalized keyboard, these tweaks will take your phone from standard to stand out. If you found this video helpful, smash that like button. It really helps the channel and it tells YouTube to share this video with more Samsung fans. Don't forget to subscribe for more tips, setups, and customization tricks, and drop a comment below telling me which feature you're setting up first. Thanks so much for your support. Every like, comment, and sub keeps this community growing. I appreciate you all. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.